Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I hope you had an amazing weekend. Um, I had lots of yummy food. If you guys go check out my YouTube video, you'll get to see that I had a burger and fries, had some fajitas and waffles. So I am recharged, feeling good, and I actually woke up before my alarm today at 4, so I was like, okay, get your ass out of bed and uh, get going. So here we are. Now I want to talk about for today's cardio conversation, how in the world I was able to pull heavy ass weights yesterday when I was doing my lower body uh, testing. So we're going to talk about the procedure all the way from beginning to end to accomplish anything you want in life. So step number one, this is what I do no matter what it is. So you're going to walk into the gym and you're probably feeling like, oh, I don't want to be here. or Oh, I'm tired or whatever it is, right? Those are legit emotions. You're probably feeling them some days, right? So you're going in and you're like, oh, I don't know. I just feel kind of blah, right? So step number one is getting your brain out of that mindset. So what I do, no matter if it's a strength uh, testing day or not, is I'm going up to the bar, I'm looking at the bar, or in your case, you might be looking at the treadmill, or you might be looking at whatever, and you're just saying, I can do this. So I close my eyes, and then I do this self-talk. It can be 10 seconds, it can be a minute, however long I need to get my headspace in the right space. So I'll close my eyes and be like, and you've got this, and you're totally gonna be able to pull this weight, and this is nothing, this is nothing compared to what you've been able to overcome. It's just a silly little bar. Um, and you're going to totally be able to do it. So I'm like putting my brain in this mindset of like, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to be able to do it. And like, I'm just doing that in my brain over and over as much as I need to. So that my mind is like, yep, we're going to pull it. Yep. No problem. Yep. It's not going to be heavy as fuck. And that is the biggest part of the puzzle, guys. If you can't get your brain in the in the right headspace, I can tell you right now, it's still gonna, it, it's not going to happen for you. You need to be in the headspace of like, I got this. This is not going to be heavy. Everything's going to be fine. And that really, um, that really draws parallels to a lot of things in life, right? You can either look at a situation and you can be like, oh, this is terrible. And you can be in your little Eeyore brain and be like, oh, this is going to really suck. I'm not going to be able to do it. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to my goal. There's no way I'm going to be able to pull it. Or you can go up and you can just say like, hell to the fucking yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I do it every single time. Up to the bar. No matter if it looks heavy as fuck, if it looks intimidating as fuck, I do that. So get the brain in the right spot. Set up with form, same way, every single time. So whatever the movement is, I'm doing the same mental cues over. Okay, so setting up for the deadlift, setting up for the hip thrust, setting up for the leg press, I'm getting my like cues in line. Okay, so that's the, the second thing. And then the third thing I do every single time is I imagine my competition right beside me and that bitch is pulling the weight, right? So I'm imagining, <laughs> sorry <laughs> for my competition, I didn't mean to call you a bitch, but I mean, I imagine, I imagine her right beside me and she is, she's got her bar set up. She's got, it's all ready to go. And she just pulled it, right? And now it's my turn. So I'm going out, like I got to beat her. And for me, I'm a competitive person. So it works really well for me to be like, okay, she just pulled it in. You got to pull it. You got to pull it. And as many times as I got to say that in my brain, I got to do it. I got to, I got to just keep on telling myself that I don't give myself the option of failing. And that's really how we set ourselves up for success with goals, guys, is that if you don't give yourself an option to fail, it's like, fuck it. I just got to do it. I just got to do it. So I go up yesterday and I'm about to pull my deadlift, pull the first rep and I'm like, holy fuck that's heavy and it was really really fucking hard so i'm screaming and grunting and being crazy and just getting it all out and trying my absolute hardest but i pretend like that's my one shot my, that's my only time to do it so it's either now or never right i'm either gonna show up and give it my all or i'm gonna just look at the bar and be like no way no way so anyway so what happens once you feel it heavy right you feel that resistance you feel that obstacle coming your way so you do the first one you're like Whew, holy shit that was really fucking heavy so you pull it and then before rep number two i gotta reset 
I gotta do the same thing. Okay, yeah, it was heavy. Yes, it was fucking hard. Doesn't mean you can't do it again. Hell to the no, no. Resistance is where we have to run. Failure and the challenging shit is where we have to run. So I do that. I tell myself that in my brain. I say, no, you gotta run towards the things that are scary. You gotta run towards the things that are difficult. You gotta run towards the things that are challenging because that is where the strength is built. So I'm like, okay, we got this. <laughs> do it over again, guys. People do not think that your mind has all of this control, but it has, it has all of the control, right? So I do that every single time. I'm talking to myself throughout the entire duration of the actual lift. And then, so you pull it. And then as the reps go on, right? As the reps go on, yes, it is still challenging. Yes, I'm still pushing through it. And it, it is really, really tough, but I do know that there are a lot of people out there that I'm inspiring. There's a lot of people out there that I'm motivating just by, just by showing up, just by trying my absolute best. So I knew, or I know that I can't just give up. I can't just, when things start to get really tricky, I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to quit now, right? Because you guys are all watching me. You guys are all keeping me accountable. So that's the, th that's the third part of the puzzle is... My brain goes into why in the fuck I do this. So that's the third piece for you guys too is that when it gets tough, when you want to give up, when you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I just want to go home or I don't want to get out of bed or whatever in the world it is that's going through your brain, bring yourself back to why you want your freaking goals. So for me, yes, I have goals of competing and yes, I like getting stronger and all that shit. But my deeper why is you guys, right? I don't do this just for me. I do this because when I show up and when I kick ass, it inspires all you guys to kick ass. And that is the legacy that I want to leave. So that is where my brain goes back to when I'm like wanting to give up. And you guys need to figure that shit out. You need to figure out your own individual reason of why you have to push through one more rep, why you have to give a, a few more minutes of cardio, why it is that you have to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. And you got to bring yourself back to that, not just once a week. Every time you go to do the task, guys, you got to bring yourself back to why in the hell does this shit matter, right? Figure it out. Figure it out. You got to figure it out. Not like tomorrow or next week. Figure that shit out right now. Why in the hell do you want to change your body? Why in the hell do you even care about health and fitness? And then bring that into your daily practice. I think that's it for this morning. Hope you guys liked today's video. I'm excited to see all you guys crush some personal bests in every way, shape, and form, not only in the gym this week, but in life as well. Feel free to send me a direct message. Let me know what you're accomplishing. Always love hearing from you guys. Happy Monday, and 